Hello, my name is Rose, and in today's tutorial we're going to talk about how to use the hollow tool in 3D Slicer. So this can be useful if you are trying to do a 3D print of an object, and you don't want to use up all your filament by making a solid object, so you might want to hollow out the center of it. So as you can see, I've already loaded an endocast into the space, so if you'd like to learn how to do that, see the link in the upper right hand corner. But this is representing the brain space within a primate's skull. As you can see, I have a primate volume loaded below. So we can explore our endocast in 3D space and in the slices below and see that we've created a solid object. The, we, the, our segment that we created that you can see in the left hand menu, endocast, solidly goes through the skulls and we want to hollow that out so that uh, we can easily 3D print it. So we simply use the hollow tool in the segment editor module. So I'm going to click on that and we can explore the settings over here on the left. So we want to use the current segment of endocast as the outside surface of our model. So I'm going to select outside surface. And now that endocast that we created is going to become the outside shell of our hollowed out model. So we can adjust the shell thickness down below and it defaults to three, which we'll just leave it at that for now and we want to make sure that we've selected endocast and we're not on the skull model and simply click apply. And this tool works very fast. It will depend on the size of your model, but here it's already hollowed it out. And for this particular model, that shell is a little bit thick, so you can easily adjust it by just going over to your left hand menu, clicking undo, adjusting your shell thickness, and then clicking apply again. Now, depending on the requirements of your 3D printer, you might have to pay attention to um, shell thickness and not go too thin. Now we can see how we've hollowed out our model by changing the viewer of our window to 3D only, and then using the scissor tool on the left hand side to just cut off one side of the model so that we can see that it is hollow. So I've ensured that it is set to erase inside and simply cut away a piece of our model so that we can rotate it and see, yes, it has been hollowed out. And then to reverse that, I'll just simply click undo. So that's how to quickly use the hollow tool in 3D Slicer. So thank you so much to the 3D Slicer team who made this incredible software free for everyone to use. And subscribe below for more workflow tutorials from our lab. Thank you.